Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. And today we are looking at the first two weeks of June for your Gemini New Moon. And what are the energies surrounding the first uh half of the month, right? So we're going to get main energies, right? And we're going to doorway, gateway to spirit about these energies. And then spirit asked for your spiritual connection for the first two weeks, which is very key with this new moon. So this is a reading for all signs. We're just going to look and see what uh, the Gemini new moon means. For one, I can tell you now when you are dealing with Gemini uh, moon, new moon, full moon, be careful around crowds because you have a people, a lot of people who are uh, going to wear these masks and they're going to flip flop from like, um, what is it? Uh, laugh now, cry later. So be careful. So we already have one energy out and it is indecision. See that? Not sure. Should I go left? Should I go right? See that? And then the stop or the creation of the block is pertaining to love or defeat, whether it be love of self, defeat of self, love of someone else or the defeat of someone else. Right. Not sure that indecision, indecisive energy spirit. What is another energy thing that came out quick that all signs will face the first half of June adjacent possibilities? And this is the balance, baby. Let's go. Bringing that balance towards choosing the door, choosing the correct door, choosing a door, whether it be to start a new beginning, you know, start moving forward. It's a lot. It's a lot. But we're going to see what this, what the message is. Now, let's get your spiritual connection. Spirit for all signs. What is the spiritual connection for the first half of June for this Gemini new moon? Woo, it's a lot here. But the first one out, you have spiritual protection, and it is a card of seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Let's go, spiritual protection, and you're going to need it with this uh, Gemini new moon. But what does spiritual protection pull with it? Some of you need to focus on your life paths, getting your mind right, right? And then invitation by water. Water talks about that... Uh, emotional pull spiritual pull because when you talk moon you talk water because the moon doesn't represent just represent like the pool of the water whether it be emotions the cleansing and purifying factors or like the rejuvenation of life it also represents intuition you see that water moon intuition and this is a card of five what needs to change right and life pass is a card of two whether you have a decision or have to make a decision about uh, acknowledging or accepting or that call towards your life path, you have the change. Also, another five, a spiritual, right? Decree. This is like um, submitting to your spiritual self. Like you hear the call. Are you going to answer that call? And when I say it's a lot going on with this moon and then here you have an eight, seventh ray of ritual order and ceremony. Let's go getting these uh, sacred rituals together, but focus on yourself because it's a lot of signs for this um, month of June. They have a tendency to focus on everyone else, but not so much themselves getting yourself in order. Let's go. So you do what you got to do, right? So it's a lot. So let's look, spirit, at your first energy. The indecision. Indecision is an eight. What is the eight? The eight represents spirit, right? Calling for a spirit to a situation or a person. Spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformations, right? So Getting your mental together. And another thing about Gemini uh, moon, uh, you know, every moon has its positive and negatives. But the thing about uh, Gemini uh, moon, the new moon that's here, it's all about creative expressions, pulling down creative ideas. That's why I told you in another uh, reading, make sure you 
pull down the energy. You need this. If you need new ideas, say like you're an artist or you're a musician or a musician, um, a writer, an artist, and you're in it like in an in like entertainment, um, anything dealing with people and like whatever they have to read, whatever they have to see, right? This is the time where you want to pull down that energy because Gemini moon represents creative intellect, right? And I picked up on the creative intellect on the or in the um divine feminines video, it came out. So this is that time, right? Spirit, what surrounds the indecision for all signs for the first half of June? Fulfillment. Not sure if you want to be uh, fulfilled or not. And this is a card of two, but it's okay. Because the eight with the two represents the one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey, right? What is the one thought or what is the one you indecisive? towards this unfulfillment or fulfillment which way should i go to uh meet or to link or to connect with my fulfillment that's all it says so let's go let's see what's going on spirit clarify the indecision what is the indecision here you have the two of staff pay attention to the moons pay attention to the water right the lovers is here See that? Love us or the spirit connect, spiritual connection of the bonding of two is faded. Look at that. Major, major. Upon action. Upon action or upon that spiritual pull to move through the doorway, gateway, thresholds, those staff, right? Spiritual pull. Are you going to answer the call? See that? Towards a bonding factor, relating factor that is faded. Yeah, destiny is here. See that? Destiny is here. Spirit, clarify the lovers. Let's see what the lovers is. The balancing of two. The balancing of two because the lovers is a six. What is the six? Balance. And June is a month of uh balancing, uh stabilizing everything, right? So you either going to answer the call or you're going to turn your back spirit because it's like everything here has their back turned. Yep. <sighs> towards the lovers. Everything has their back turned. Going towards that spiritual pull, you turn your back towards the lovers. See, even destiny gives the back, but hands the divine clock towards the lovers, right? trying to move it may not be time i know you you may want to be fulfilled but now over your fulfillment towards your lovers you have the seven of staff see that Res resisting or pushing away the lovers Re -re resisting or pushing away the connection of two you see that two becomes one right spiritual connection spiritual pull resistance is here Resistance, spirit clarify seven of staff. What is the resistance? Look, no commitment, no commitment, right? Towards destiny, or no commitment towards a spiritual connection. Some of you don't even realize it, don't even know what's going on. You just all in your head and confused. What's under the deck? What's under the deck is the three of coin, the collaboration, or the working out. Towards someone waiting, waiting to take action because you got to build up your strength. Look, got to build up your strength. Eight spirit, seven of swords. Look, towards the holding back, four coins of completion and the uh, the world and the final decision. Uh-huh. Why? Because stuck, mentally stuck, mentally stuck. Being headstrong, right? See that? Not seeing a new perspective or a new perception, right? Hey, man, to do what? To move forward. See that? Stuck. We got to get up out of this. We got to shake up out of this. So, the collaboration within the collaboration or the creation within the creation for the balance, right? The balance. Waiting to take action towards strength. See that? 
Someone has to take action to either grow up their strength, blow up their strength, glow up their strength, or gain their strength, right? Why? Because the mental, see that? Someone is facing a heartbreak, right? And that is holding them back, but they have a plan of action or the recovery in their mental. But at the same time, the four swords, that plan of recovery is still also stuck between the indecision, two of coins, and juggling, two of coins. Juggling a heartbreak, juggling a recovery. Juggle, struggle towards making a decision towards the what? Completion to end that juggling, struggling. See that? For a coin. What's being held back? The completion. See that? No end of a cycle. Because you're not focused on the final decision. You turn your back and bow your head. See that? Towards the king of swords, someone who could have, you know, they can be like egotistical, they can have a uh, dominant energy, like whatever I say goes, right? And this king of swords is also the block of you not having a new perspective or seeing a new way to keep moving forward. See, block. The king of swords. Some of you up under uh, like a dominant control. Yeah. Masculine energy. Right. Strong energy. But at the end of the day, the eight of swords. Right. With that one king of swords. Sword makes the nine of swords. Right. Worry. Someone is worried about you having a new perspective or a new perception to do what? Move forward. See that? Move forward. You got to keep going. You can't stay on your knees. You can't keep your head bowed. This is the time in which you, you know, you call upon the universe in the heavens and say, hey, I'm here. I know I'm stuck. Please send me help. Send me energy. Send me wisdom. Give me the creative idea to move forward. The indecision, right? Two of swords, right? Same thing. See that? To move forward towards recovery. And they're telling us that the way is being cleared because it's an orange boat. But where are you heading? You're heading towards your fulfillment. See that? Out of the indecision to a swords to recovery towards your fulfillment. You see that? So you do what you got to do for whoever this applies to. Don't let no one, uh, you know. Stay in your way too long and keep you stuck too long. Too much time passes by. Too many good things pass by. And do not ever forget that you must take the bad with the good. And everything you do, everyone you meet. Because I see a lot of people having a tendency. Oh, Leah, you're so negative. No, I'm not. I'm just telling you what it is. If you want to be a person who want to stay in La La Land in your imagination fairy tale land where there's no bad, then that's on you. But for those people who live in the real world, we already know you got to take the bad with the good and strive. You got to keep going. Don't stop. So let's see what surrounds the balancing of these adjacent possibilities. Let's go. I want all mine. And y'all already know if you've been journeying with me for a while, I'm going to tell you, I want it. Out of the indecision of being stuck, straight towards the door to abundance, success, wealth, love, growth, new growth, a new house, a new car, the birthing of ideas, children. See that? My success, my fame, my glory. It's all about the balance, baby. We in the month of June. I want it all. Spirit, what surrounds adjacent possibilities? The balancing of all these doors. You have two. Right? Having that warrior spirit, that fighting spirit towards what? Making decisions, options, doorway, gateways, taking the good, the light, the yin with the bad, the dark, the yang. You see that? Communication, spiritual communication, moon, bird, 
is coming. So together these make the what? The three, the creation of that fighting spirit warrior towards you choosing or having the options of being presented with the balancing of uh, adjacent possibilities. Yes. And all together, they make the nine, what is the nine called the divines of the heavens calling for your attention to a situation or a person. It is time to balance. It is time to balance. You have a choice to make and it is your decision if you are going to uh, let your higher self lead you. Twos represents the uh, warrior, doorway, gateway, threshold, opportunities, missed opportunities. The connection or the bonding for two becomes one. Communication factors of conversating and debating or the pairs. The pairs. Spirit clarify. Adjacent possibilities for all signs. What is adjacent possibilities? Over your choices. Over your choices, right? You have eight of swords. See that? Mentally stuck. The Knight of Coin. No, that's the Knight of Cups. Some of you are dealing with the Knight of Coin. Ace of Swords. Okay, so next we have your spiritual message. It talks about spiritual communication, right? And what's surrounding your spiritual communication is all tied up. See that? Some of you need to know and understand that you are spiritually protected and whatever happens is meant because they're telling us what is surrounding your spiritual protection about you being all tied up. It, it's all on you or communication is coming in towards you because this is the card of two. See that? And then together, these represent the seven. What is the seven? Seven is a number of self-reflection, right? And this is also a seven. See that? Seven and seven make the change. What changes are coming? Changing the fact that uh, no longer being tied up, no longer being stuck. Changing the fact that communication is coming in. Some type of form of communication is coming in. And the reason why I say that, because that orange bird at the bottom of the screen is there. And birds represent messages. And because the bird is orange, it talks about um, obstacles being removed, right? So you do what you have to do. Clarifying all tied up. A message is coming. A lot of you may um, get that uh, email, that text message, or that phone call. Whether it be about you hurting someone else. Or them hurting you because there is two feminine energies here. See that? Two feminine energies. One has been wounded, right? By no action. I can't take action. My I, my my brain has been going a hundred miles a minute, but I can't move. Injury of movement. And then someone has been, hmm. I guess they're not coming. I guess they're not sorry. So I'm just going to be to myself, be by myself, you know, build up. Or you either have the choice to stay and wait or move forward. Because this is a card of two. What are the twos? Doorway, gateway, threshold, opportunities, missed opportunities. Communication factors of conversating and debating. The conversating is talking about the talking, right? The understanding of communication, the agreements, the acceptance, the forgiveness when you talk to someone, because we got two feminine energies here. The debating talks about the yelling, the fighting, the arguing, the pushing, the shoving. See that? The law enforcement being called out. Someone could get literally get in trouble, right? The um, debating also talks about negotiations when you're dealing in the court system. So you have to be careful. Tools also talk about pairs and the communication or the connecting factors of two becoming one or the two factors together. Right. That could be talking 
that could be trying to work it out. So you have received three cards for the individuality towards the all tied up. I told you communication was coming, right? The eight of staff, five of swords, king of swords. See that? What is going on? Communication is coming. I told you that the orange bird was there towards someone walking away, taking the heartbreak with them and leaving the indecision behind. But don't forget that orange that talks about obstacles being removed was the same orange bird that was over here in individuality. See that? That orange bird, someone wears orange. Who is walking away? A solid person, a person who has a solid mental. I say what I mean, I mean what I say. If I'm leaving, then I'm leaving. And if I'm going to communicate, I'm going to communicate. And I'm going to tell you what I did. You see that? Boom. That's what. That's what's going on. Solid mental. My mind is made up. About what? About walking away. Why? So I can come over here and tell you why. See that? You're going to find out some information. Spirit, clarify. Eight of staff. Let's see. Eight of staff. Waiting to take action towards the what? Towards that shine, baby. Towards the sun. Waiting on the sun. Sun is coming up. Now the sun is here. Two-part process. Taking action what? Towards the sun. No one said how far the distance was. But at the end of the day, your three of staff and your sun popped out over what? Spiritually protected. Let's go. If the divine said it, so the divine's meant it. What's under the bottom of the deck? You have the eight of cups. A new plan is here, right? The seven of swords. Yep, towards the devil. Always up in here in the party. Towards the advancement mm -hmm. of someone being single or of a single person, right? Towards the divines. I'm glad the divines are up in here. Because the devil showed up towards the uh, reconciliation. I told you that communication towards justice being served. Yes. Towards the lovers or the, the, the connecting factors of two. See that? I told you. To bring a balance. Six. Woo! Talks about some family situation ended, receiving mental clarity, a new beginning. Yeah, all of that's up under the deck. Anyway, so let's go. So it says, boom, it says feelings of a new plan, right? It's here. What is part of this new plan that's being spiritually protected? See that? Spiritually guided, spiritually protected, right? See that? Seven of Swords, plan of action towards the devil. I am going to face a heartbreak, but I have a plan of recovery in my mental. And the devil does not see it because I am sneaking up. Because the devil is paying attention to the block stop my advancement. You see that? Towards what? Your advancement towards what? Being single and strong and solid. See that? What is going on towards the building up of your balance? The, the holding back. See that? Someone was holding back. That was their low energy of change. See that? Holding back low energy of change towards the balance, right? Communication is coming in. No one said it had to be physical, right? The divines are here. See that? Communication. No one said it had to be physical. Towards what? The reconciliation, right? Towards uh, justice being served. See that? That's why That's why temperance is towards the three of cups. And the three of cups is celebrating justice. Yes! Because someone got out of their mental, laid their swords down. Now they're telling us that the balance is going towards the connecting factors of two. Whether it be a relationship, partnership, friendship, uh... Home mortgage ship, car loan ship, student loan ship. Yeah, it's here. Justice is there. 
So when I say it's coming, it's coming. I mean what I say, I say what I mean. See that? I mean what I say, I say what I mean. Didn't I tell y'all I was walking away? You just had to give me time. You see that? You had to give me time. Now I'm coming in to communicate what I've done. I, see what what do you what 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 have you done or what is occurring? Justice is being served towards the reconciliation, towards the connecting factors or the lovers, right? To becoming one. It's been the divine's plan all alone. See that? All alone. So that's what we have going on for June. Some of you are going to receive communication. Some are stuck towards unfulfillment. And some of you all are going to make a choice to step up in your little warrior energy. That's what I'm talking about. Leah, I got this. And you're going to choose another door that's going to bring your balance up in here towards your life. Let's go. So until I see you all next time. This has been your Gemini New Moon reading. So take care. Work it out. Figure it out. Anybody who needs to talk to me, anybody who needs a personal reading, twin flame reading, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm here. Just talk to me and let me know.